is up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is coach coco and i love volleyball so much so my channel is filled with tips tricks hacks and anything you could ever need to know about volleyball so once upon a time when i was your age i had to learn how to get the volleyball out of the net it was very challenging but once i got the hang of it it was something that i really needed to use in games if you're a front row player or you're a player who just wants to learn how to get the ball out of the net this video is for you let's get right into it volleyball out of the net. This is an essential skill for a front row player, a setter, just anybody really. So when you're getting the volleyball out of the net, it is very important that you understand exactly what that means. So sometimes the volleyball can get into the net and you're getting low and you don't know what to do. The one thing that you want to do when you're getting the volleyball out of the net is understand that there is no right or wrong way. It, we want to essentially get the ball as high as it can be so that way we can help the ball continue in the play. So even though the ball is in the net, that doesn't mean that the play is over and that doesn't mean that the point is lost. It, it just means that you have to be a little creative about how you get it out. Now, one thing that I want to note is that this is a women's net. With this net, I'm making sure that this net and this doesn't happen everywhere. This net is really tight and it is appropriately sized. So that means that getting the ball in the net does depend on if your net is really loose, if it's movable, things like that. If you have a net that's a little bit older, it may be a little bit more challenging. Or this bottom part here isn't as tight, it also may be a little bit more challenging. But nevertheless, we're gonna try our very best. So when I was learning how to get the volleyball out of the net, the first thing that I had to realize was you have to be parallel to the net. I am not going to try to get the volleyball out of the net by facing the net forward. Because if I'm going to receive a pass and the ball is coming in the net, I'm just going to hit it back into the net like such. There was nothing much more than a ricochet. It's much easier if you get parallel to the net where you expect the volleyball to land, and that way you can pop the ball up. We want to be able to get it as high as possible so that way somebody else can get it. If you see your teammate and the ball is going in the net, please shadow them because that means that there's a possibility that it could get out of the net. So this drill really does require two people. I'm here by myself, unfortunately. But what they're going to do is they're going to toss the ball into the net you're gonna to try to line your body up exactly where it is to try to get it out. I'm gonna do this dribble myself, so I'm gonna to toss the ball into the net and try to parallel get it out. if you have somebody toss the ball into the net while you're parallel to the net so that way you can receive the ball out of the net. Most of the time when the ball goes in the net, it either shoots in this way or it glides along. Now what happens if it shoots in? If the ball shoots into the net, you want to be there parallel to receive it so when it comes off, you can pass. Shooting in, parallel, off. Now what if it's gliding like this? That happens quite often. If it's gliding with somebody, maybe ricocheting in the net, it's gliding, you want to anticipate the end of that glide. You want to get low and honestly catch the ball before it goes down the bottom of the tape. You want to get low and catch it before it gets low because once it gets into this open space, there's very little saving it because you pass it up. 
What happens if it gets here? That's happened to me. Or it goes under their net. So the key to passing the ball and getting it out of the net is to realize there's no right or wrong way. You want to make sure to get it as high as possible so that way somebody else can get it. Understand if the ball is shooting in or gliding and catching it before it gets to the bottom of the tape. I hope that you liked this video. I hope that it was very informative. It helped you learn a little bit more about how to get the ball out of the net. And please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,